when we put God in a box, we put ourselves in a box. Mm -hmm. If you want to limit yourself, limit God. I mean, we do that to ourselves all day long. First of all, we think, oh, God's not going to do that. God wouldn't give me that. Um, you know, we, we, we limit him in having no belief, having no faith. And so we shut the door. God says, open the door, dang it. <laughs> Probably doesn't use that word. <laughs> he says, knock. Okay. And I, and I will, I'll open those doors. Believe that you have bold access. And like I said before, get willing to get uncomfortable. Now, we ask for big things. Some people ask for big things. Some people need to start asking for big things and believing for big things. Okay. And if you're not, shame on you. Because God's written, God has written this amazing book for every single one of us. And that we have no clue about, you know, we should be asking for his will to be done. Reveal that to me and ask for all the big things, even if it seems ridiculous. I mean, Diana's over here laughing, but, I'll, you know, if you think small, you're going to get small. I, oh, what's her name? Joyce Meyer says, I would, I would rather believe for all of it. And get 50% of it and believe for nothing and get nothing, you know. So ask for the ask for the impossible, ask for the big, dream big in God. He drops those dreams in your heart. Satan is the one who tells you you can't have it. He's the one who comes to kill, steal, and destroy. God is the one who came to give you life and life more abundantly. And then he does that through you to serve the kingdom, to advance the kingdom and bless you mightily while he's at it. Now, he has to do a work through you, through me, <laughs> as as. Okay, so now we've asked for this big thing. Well, now he has to people up here who can handle this big thing that we were asking for. So now he has to refine our vessel. So we asked for it, but it's a process to get there. I mean, we 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 got all these biblical people and the junk that they had to go through to get here. You know, every single one of them had to go through a process, a painful process for the prize. Um, don't think that not either in any of us are going to have to miss, you know, we get to jump from here to there. We don't, that does, just doesn't work that way. And you see that in the Bible. It even says in Hebrews that God was perfected suffering that he went through. That's going to be every single one of us here. You know, I wish we could skip that part. Um, unfortunately, we can't because it's what turns us into the people who can handle the gifts that he's got for us. Otherwise, they would destroy us. And we would miss the kingdom altogether. So one journey, our, every single one of our journey is different. Knows what we need to get where he's got us going. And don't think this road that you're on right now, which looks awful, maybe, isn't leading to isn't leading to the castle. It just depends on how. We choose to go through the things that we got. Okay, Lord, let's embrace this. You know, I don't want to keep barn learning the same lesson so that I can have what you have for me. 